Hey everyone, my name is Brian Bloy and I'm here with some great friends to share some exciting news regarding the reopening of our campuses and facilities. For nearly three months, we have pressed the pause button on meeting together and worshiping in person, but that's about to change. Over these last couple months, us pastors have constantly been in touch with one another, praying for one another and wrestling with making the very best decision for our churches and communities. And today, we're here to announce together we'll be reopening our campuses for Sunday morning worship on Sunday, July the 12th. Wow, this is so exciting and a huge answer to prayer for all of us. We also have to understand and acknowledge that it's gonna look a little different at each church. But here are some things that we all share in common as we begin to reopen. Number one, seating for all worship services will require a ticket meaning that individuals and families must register in advance for the service they wish to attend. Number two, child care and student programming will not be offered on Sunday mornings, at least initially. So your little ones and your students are gonna need to sit with you in the service. And something else I know we all have in common is that we're putting the safety of our people first. So that means that each of our staffs and facility teams will be sanitizing all common areas thoroughly before, between, and following the worship services. We will also continue to maintain proper distancing on our campus in accordance with CDC guidelines. We know you'll have some questions as we begin to navigate these next few weeks leading up to our reopening. Again, like Ike said a moment ago, each church will look a bit different than another. We each have different facilities, different parking lots, different number of unique factors that each campus must evaluate as we prepare to bring people back. The best thing you can do is to get specific information from your church website. So go to your church's website where you'll find more detailed information regarding how things will begin to look and operate starting on July the 12th. We cannot wait to see you in person and not just on a screen. We just ask for some patience and a lot of grace as we continue to move forward. There's no perfect plan, and please know, we're doing our very best to bring you and your families back to campus in the best and safest way we possibly can. See you soon, Westridge. See you soon, North Star. Can't wait to see you, Piedmont. North Metro, we'll see you on July 12th. We'll see you soon, Cedar Crest.